Bubblegum Blues, and other funny poems for kids. Written by Gary A. Minkin and illustrations by Agnes Sucher. Bubblegum Blues I learned to chew sweet bubblegum when my Nana bought me some. I gave my Nana such a hug that I got gum stuck in her rug. I popped a bubble near the door. Now gum is stuck on Nana's floor. I got a wad stuck in my hair. Now there's gum in Papa's chair. Silly me, I even think I got my gum stuck in the sink. Gum's now smeared upon the walls of every room and every hall. I think this gum will surely be the end of Nana's sanity. This whole adventure, it had started with Nana's words so warm-hearted. Try this gum, just chew and blow such sticky bubbles. Me is woe. Two square wheels. Can you imagine how it feels to ride a bike with two square wheels? It's absolutely so absurd, the silliest thing I ever heard. Square wheels can cause a lot of harm, an aching back, a broken arm. It wouldn't matter where you'd go, you'd hit your head, you'd sprain a toe. Your handlebars would be quite bent, resulting from an accident. Cornered wheels are very strange. I only wish that they could change. Don't ruin your fun. Enjoy your day. Quickly give that bike away. Or else just modify your wheels till your bottom quickly heals. The best solution they have found? Remove the corners. Make them round. Your father just might help you do it when he gets around to it. A pretzel neck giraffe. A giraffe named Jack had a stroke of bad luck. He fell and got hurt when he slipped in the muck. And that's how he got a bad kink in his neck, causing pain so intense that it made him a wreck. If you were Jeff, just think how you'd feel with a neck like a pretzel and pain that won't heal. This regal giraffe wore a turtleneck sweater. It fit rather tight, but he never looked better. Giraffes all agree not a necks or the pits. The swelling and aches drive them out of their wits. When most people hear, they can't help but laugh. A deep chiropractic for a giant giraffe? But let's show some pity for knotted neck pain and not take for granted a good skeletal frame. Don't compare insignificant kinks in your calf with the pretzel neck syndrome that plagues a giraffe. Nana and Papa's house. Nana understands and cares, and everything she owns, she shares. I love it when she climbs the stairs to tuck me in to say my prayers. Papa really likes to play. He seems so happy every day. He often takes me out to fish. Trout for dinner, that's my wish. Nana is the greatest cook. She never uses a cookbook. Her recipes are in her head like cakes and pies and gingerbread. Papa knows so many jokes, and he swims with easy strokes. He likes to watch the baseball games. He knows each player by their names. At their house, a chicken feast, grilled, stewed, or barbecued at least. My grandparents are such loving friends. I can't wait to visit once again. Hannah the Holstein Hannah the Holstein was such a nice cow. Most bovines will curtsy, but she loved to bow. One day the herd was preparing for showers. Hannah wandered off to graze in the flowers. She loved daffodils between her toes. She draped lavender over her nose. She wrapped fresh gardenias around her long tail and nibbled sweet rosebuds from her favorite pail. A cow that loved posies so sweet and divine. She was a fine Holstein by floral design. If you see a cow adorned in bright flowers, feed her fresh petals and she'll eat for hours. In floral regalia, this Holstein could be a rose parade mascot in flora royalty. Vegetatious. Plant a seed and watch it grow, or plant a hundred in a row. Plant a peach pit, plant a lime, plant tomatoes, they'll grow fine. I've planted acorns just to see 
how they become a big oak tree. I've planted corn and carrots too, and red hot peppers for a stew. Squash and melons, grapes for wine. They grow so well on lovely vines. For avocados, plant a pit. Don't forget to water it. Pumpkin, celery, lettuce plants. Grow from seeds and don't bring ants. Potatoes are a cinch to grow. Plant big chunks, they grow below. Plant some garlic from a clove. I love pears, let's plant a grove. Berries, beans, and apple trees. Grow them in the ground with ease. Go fly a kite. When wind blows up a nasty storm, we stay inside where it is warm. But when the balmy breeze is right, we go outside to fly our kites. I attach a long thin line that keeps my kite in tow just fine. I also tie a length of tail to keep it upright in a gale. Some kites are fancy, some are plain. We never fly kites in the rain. Run and pull and it will lift. It's a pretty wondrous gift. A kite will turn and pitch and dive, pull the strings, it comes alive. I can fly three kites in tandem. I sort the colors out by random. Kites are simply lots of fun. You can make or borrow one. You can fly it, yes you can. I'll even help you, tell me when. When my chores are done just right, my father says, go fly a kite. Baseball time. Baseball is my favorite sport. I love to pitch or play stop short. We holler at the other team and make them think that we're real mean. My family comes to watch me play. When I ground out, it's still okay. I use my glove to catch fly balls. I run way back and hit the walls. When it's my turn up at bat, I watch the pitcher tip their cap. I swing the bat with all my might. I know that we will win tonight. Our team has practiced all our plays. Summer baseball, happy days. Jumping rope. I love to skip and run each day. It's exercise that I call play. And after school is when I hope my friends will say, let's all jump rope. Jumping rope takes strength and skill. I practice all the jump rope drills. We grab the ends, we turn and lift, then jumpers use their special gift. Friends skip and dodge the whirling line. Jump on in, you'll do just fine. Double ropes are hard to master. You must be strong and jump must faster. So jump along or jump with friends. It's healthy fun that never ends. An apple a day. I eat an apple every day. Quick energy to help me play. Green, red, yellow, white inside. Take a bite, just open wide. I always eat one with my lunch. Fresh and crisp, I love their crunch. Apple sauce and apple pie. Apple strudel, my oh my. Apple cider, fresh and tart. A cold drink from the apple cart. Photosynthesis is great. It grew the apple on my plate. Vitamins and fiber too. Apples are so good for you. Be well and keep the dock away. Eat an apple every day. Bubble bath. I love to take a bath with bubbles. When I get in, I have no troubles. Mommy adds some soapy powder. Then she fills the tub with water. Later when my bath is finished and my energy diminished, she gives me a towel so I will dry, then combs the wet hair from my eyes. Then off to bed, but before I go, I brush my teeth, don't you know? With happy poems and storybooks, I fall asleep till breakfast cooks. Rain is a nice way to wash our planet. When it rains, I sit and stare out the window from a chair. I press my nose against the pane. Each breath of steam obscures the rain. Here I am, all warm and snug. My toys all spread out on the rug. Raindrops dripping from the roof. Do you think I need more proof? That nature is a wondrous thing. Just listen to that rainstorm sing. Soon the rain will pass on by. As the storm clouds lift up high, 
Sunny skies soon follow rain as weather cycles round again. When the rain is finally done, I'll go outside to have some fun.